Nothing but love at the Leah Kaur Center earlier today in North Philadelphia. Many came out to celebrate the life and legacy of former and longtime Temple University basketball coach John Chaney. Dan Coop shares some of the memories that so many will cherish now and always. Some people are pebbles in a pond. You were a boulder in the ocean. John Cheney's resume hangs in the rafters of the Leah Cora Center, but that's only half his story. Look around at the banners in this arena, and you can see just how successful he was. But John Cheney was not satisfied with just teaching basketball. The coach most famous for 5 a.m. practices, dominating matchup zone, and a brash style that reflected North Broad Street was as much a father as a fixture in North Philly. And that's to me what good fathers do. They teach you. They don't tell you what you want to hear. They teach you right for wrong and how to cope with things. That's what coach instilled in me and so many like me. The strength and courage of a warrior. It's just impossible to sum up a man who meant so much to so many in so few words. But when you can rely on Don Staley, John Calipari, and Cheney's successor at Temple, Fran Dumpy, like coach, you win. If there is another combination of coach and university that fits better than John Cheney and Temple University, I don't know it. One of the best stories of the afternoon wasn't even from a basketball player. In fact, it was from Cheney's son-in-law, who says when he asked Cheney for his blessing to marry his daughter, it was right after the John Calipari incident in the 90s. Said when he walked up the staircase to Cheney's bedroom to ask the question, it was the scariest moment of his entire life. Outside the Leah Cora Center, Dan Coob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And if you would like to see the entire service for Coach Cheney, you can watch it on our website. CBSPhilly.com.